Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I am taking the... Love this song. I'll just be looking at my chins and that's fine. I am taking the writing class by Rebecca Ross with the Writing Conservatory. And it's a world building class on how to create characters and magic systems and lore and all of these things that I am needing help with because I'm currently writing my own book. Um, who knows when that's going to be done, but I would love to learn about how to properly execute a fantasy world. And so I am taking the class. It was $200. Um, I signed up for it a while ago and I am so excited because it actually starts on Monday. Today is Friday the 6th, 17th. 17th of May and it starts Monday so I was looking through the course materials and there's like a syllabus and modules and you know it lays out everything we're going to be learning which is so exciting it also has like worksheets and all of this stuff so I kind of got a little sneak peek into what we'll be doing which is exactly the stage that I'm at in my book that I need to be doing I was looking through the syllabus and um First of all, the whole point of this video is I want to bring you along with me. So I want to tell you like my experience and I'll go over some of the things that we cover, but I don't want to like infringe on the integrity of the class. Um, but I think it would be cool to document my experience. So I was looking through the syllabus and each module has case studies for her texts. And I've already read Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows, but they also reference her other books which makes sense, you know, self promo, but I have not read her other books and I love her so much. And I figured that this is probably a good time to read the other books as like required reading for the class. It is not at all required. I think they probably have segments of whatever they're talking about in the class, but I want to take this opportunity to read her other work. So, I am about to go to the bookstore. So first I'm gonna go to Goodwill and see if they have anything because yesterday I went and dropped off books at Goodwill and the selection was in the bin, in the donation bin. I didn't even go in the store. So because of this, I have an inkling that the actual selection in the store is gonna be really good. This is a younger area. So I think it's likely that I could maybe find the books there. If not, my favorite used bookstore is across the street, so I'll take a quick peek in there. I know it'll be fast because it's sectioned by genre, so I could find it pretty quickly. Um, and then, yeah, if I can't find those, then I'll go to um, an indie bookstore or Barnes & Noble. Probably Barnes & Noble because I really want to take advantage of like the, re the membership that I freaking pay for, but I also want to support local, and today is their free book Friday sale which i actually forgot about the specific store that i would go to it's their free book friday sale so i might as well go and then get other books so i think that i could possibly do this in like an hour hour and a half so that's my goal and yeah come along with me and if you want to read my mind just go Okay, so that store literally had the smallest book selection I've ever seen in my life, and it was terrible. Um, I think I would have rather have went and dug through the bin in the back where the donations are, but that's obviously not how it works. So I'm going to the used bookstore. So I'm excited about this because I actually have been meaning to go there for a while because I love it love it it's literally just down the street so i will see you there if there's nothing to hide i'm so depressed i'm not gonna lie but your problems are bigger than mine i'm fully aware fully aware that the angle is not great but um it was so funny. I walked into that store and the guy asked me if I was looking for anything specific and I told him the author and he knew immediately he did not have them. So I was like, oh, 
but I looked around anyway and I ended up getting Ink Death, which is the third book in the Ink Heart series. And I have the first two, which I actually bought from there. Um, and I want to read all three together. Sucks because they're definitely not the same. Like I think one is a paperback, one is a hardcover with everything printed on it. And then this one is a um, jacketed hardback. So three different versions, but I kind of think I'll probably just end up reading them and passing them back on. So I don't think that it's that big of a deal. Yeah, no luck with the first two stores. I thought that might be the case, but I was like, I might as well start checking there anyway um, before I go and buy books new. So I did my due diligence, but now we are going to the indie bookstore. I'm excited about the free books too. I feel like that's what's selling me to go there instead of Barnes. I might check the prices at Barnes though before I walk in and just see. I think I'll definitely buy at least one from the indie and then depending on whether or not they're cheaper or whatever, I'll go to Barnes. But I also just need to be conscious of budget as well. So I'm gonna have to take that into account when I go in because you girl still has no job. So yeah, which by the way, quick update on that. I am enrolling in school to become a teacher. So I am on that journey, still very early stages. I'm like enrolled though and trying to figure out all my classes and what I need to do because I do need to, I don't have the greatest GPA, so I need to like do some things with that, but I'll probably update you in a different vlog on all of that. But let's go to Mysterious Galaxy, which is actually the same bookstore that I took you to for the meet and greet with Scarlett St. Clair. So we're going there. You may be wondering too, if I am trying to be budget conscious, why am I buying them instead of using the library? And the answer is because I fully plan on annotating these books like works of art. Like I love, love, love Rebecca Ross. So I fully plan on annotating them and roughing up a little bit. So a library copy is just not going to do. And that is that. I just got out of the indie bookstore and they did not have Sisters of Sword and Song. They did not have that one, which is one of the ones that I needed to get, but they did have A River Enchanted and a Fire Endless. So that's one of the duologies that we're studying. Um, so specifically A River Enchanted. So I have these, which I'm really excited about. I'm starting with this one, I think. Or no, I think I have to start with the other one. So I have to go to Barnes and Noble now. So it's the fourth freaking store that I'm going to. And they did have the free books. So they were all like advanced copies. Um, so I got the House on Yeet Street, which looks like it's a YA book. Yeah, no, I think it's actually middle grade. Yeah, it's middle grade, but it looked really fun. It's um, basically about <laughs> when Aiden Cross yeeted his very secret notebook into the house on Yeet Street. That's how it starts. And basically they have to go through a haunted mansion to find this notebook. And that just sounds so fun. I love anything paranormal haunted house vibes. So got that one. So we're going to go to Barnes and get the last book and then we're going to go straight home. But I'm going to upload this as a quick little fun book shopping vlog because I will do a whole video on the writing class and then this is a fun little like book shopping vlog in between. So I will see you in Barnes. <laughs> Before now 
just saw this man eating a baguette. He's walking down this street just eating a baguette. I got the last book, so I'm very excited. And actually, because I am a Premier Rewards member, I got a free tote today. And it's a cute color. They had like three different color options. But anyways, let me just show you the loot again. So we got Sisters of Sword and Song, A River Enchanted, a Fire Endless, the House on Yeet Street, which I still love this name, and Ink Death with the bag. So that's my little book shopping haul vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really excited to take this class and vlog it for you and also vlog my reading experience with these books. I'll include that in there as well. So be on the lookout for that video coming up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.